again. It's good to see you. And if it's your first time here, welcome. Today, we're classing up the show by making our very own pair of opera glasses. What? You've never been to the opera? Me neither. Normally, fancy people would use them when going to a play, a show, or an opera. But we can have some fun being fancy at home, on our own, with our very own homemade opera glasses. We'll show you how. It's time to get crafty. Today we're going to make a homemade pair of opera glasses with just a few items from around the house. First you'll need one empty toilet paper roll, a popsicle stick, some tape, scissors, a pencil, a ruler, and if you want to get creative and decorate your opera glasses, you'll need some markers or pencil crayons or crayons, anything like that that you might have. So for now, I'm going to move a few things out of the way and we're going to start by measuring the center of our toilet paper roll. So we'll take our ruler, bring the zero to the end here, and then we take a look, it's about 11 and a half. So then that would be basically just somewhere under six here. So I take my pencil and I make my mark. I'm just gonna then move my pencil and my ruler out of the way. And now I need my scissors. So I mean, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could cut from here and then cut around. You could poke a hole and then cut. What I'm gonna do, because I think it's easier, is I'm just gonna flatten it out a little bit because you can always reshape it. I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit and cut. Don't worry, you're not ruining it by flattening it out. There we go. So now I've cut it. And now I need to reshape them so that they're round again. So there we go. Now mine are not perfect, but that's okay. Now they're pretty rounded again. Next, we're gonna need our tape. So I bring my tape in get a fair size piece so that you can bring the two parts of your toilet paper roll together. Put your tape in one side and then fold it down to meet the other side so that you put them together. And you want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So I get my piece of tape and then I put it in one side and then fold it down over the other side. So now we have them stuck together. Next, you're gonna want your popsicle stick. So there's two things you can do here. You have an option to just stick it in between. And look at that, you don't even need to tape it or glue it, it'll just stay. Or if you want to have your popsicle stick out here on the side, you're gonna need another piece of tape. And you want to get it big enough so that it can fit on both sides of the popsicle stick and then you sort of decide where you would want it so i'm going to put it uh, what i think is about halfway there from the sides and you just push that tape on so it's on really good i mean if you want it you could put some glue before you tape it and there you have your opera glasses that you can use for watching plays watching TV, anything you might want to watch. Now what I'd like to show you are a couple that I made earlier and I decorated them. So these ones what I did is I actually decorated them before I put them together. And so that's something you could do too. But there you have it. Some easy opera glasses that you can make at home. Have fun! you're thinking to yourself, now that I'm all dressed up and I've made these fancy opera glasses, I don't have any operas to go to. Well, that's no problem. In addition to watching operas, these glasses are great for watching TV on a Friday, 
cartoons on a Saturday, or even super classy YouTube videos like this one. What everyday, regular things can you make fancy with your super stylish, homemade opera glasses? We hope that you had fun creating your opera glasses and making them fancy in that special way that only you can. Thanks for joining us today. We're so glad we get to spend this time together. And until we get to see each other again, do good, be kind, and make things better. We believe in you. Goodbye.